Now we'll cover tips and tricks on data and reporting. So when you've completed a calculation, you'll see the results pane appear off to the right of the inputs. Here you'll see the results to each of the scenarios that you've run in your current session. If you want to, you can expand or collapse the results screen to better look through the data using the double arrow in the top right corner here. And collapse it back here. And additionally, you can expand or collapse individual scenario results that you've run in your current session. Okay, well, we've gotten that out of the way. The first thing you typically look at after you've completed a calculation is the calculation results drop down. So if you had more than one calculation type before clicking the calculation button, as we did here, uh, the drop down menu uh, lets you select the individual calculation type that you'd like to see uh, the reported data on. It even provides you with an option to show all the data at once with the combined function. So in this case, I'm interested in the personnel protection results. So I'll select that one. And here you'll see the row that meets the target highlighted. Now in this version three plus, it's more powerful because you can do ranged inputs. So here, instead of a single value, I can put values of 60 to 90 degrees with increments of 10. And I'll hit calculate. So in the results section, you can see that there is a long, long list of data here to sort through. And each of the rows that are highlighted satisfy the personnel protection requirements at that varied ambient temperature. And you can see if you vary multiple inputs from process temperature to wind speed to ambient temperature, you could create thousands of results, rows of results. To help you sort through that data for targeted uh, uh, calculations, you can click the flag icon to show only rows that satisfy the design goal. So in this case, it gives you those four uh, answers for each of those ambient temperatures that were run. That's the amount of insulation you'd need uh, to ensure personnel protection on that pipe. Now, in the new version of 3 Plus, you have three options for how to save information. First off, with this new version, you can simply highlight the information you want on the page and, can, and copy it using the standard copy and paste functions. Uh, you can get it into Excel or Word documents using control C or right clicking and copy uh, as well. You know, whatever software you'd like to use, you can directly copy it in. A second way is generating a PDF report of the results. This format was included as a standard 3D plus format with the 3D plus logo and information can be used for official requests to substantiate the estimated savings. So to create this PDF report, click the report icon, enter the name of the report, and any descriptions that, that you'd like to include, and click uh, Generate. And you'll see it will download a report for you to view. The first page will include any des descriptions that you've included, and the subsequent pages include the input parameters and then the results. You'll note that it automatically provides the username who was created by the date that was done in the version of 3 plus that was used. The third way of exporting project information and results is to create a CSV file or comma separated variable file. That can be open in programs like Excel. So I'll say download CSV here and open it up in Excel. And what it does is it actually creates an Excel file with all the results here. So you can see that there's a row for every data point and it has all of the input information associated with that data point and the results. Note that the selected line, that highlighted line will not copy when using this feature. However, now that you're using Excel, for example, it opens you up to much more uh, ability to, to manipulate the data. So you can grab uh, that inf you know, using a lookup or an equation create your own reports and energy and emission savings uh, using your own business processes using Excel or Microsoft Power BI or Tableau or other software that you might want to man use to manage your processes. And if I download a CSV, uh, you know, it's created hundreds or even thousands of rows of data without clicking through and repeating calculations and copying information out. 
you can see you can vary you can do custom variations on all of these values now without having to come back to the software. So there we have it. We've, we've covered three ways to get data out of 3 plus. First being you can copy directly, highlighting. Second being creating a PDF report. And the third being downloading that, that CSV file from the website. Lastly, you can expect to export the results from more than one scenario at a time as well. So if I calculated information for another scenario and it's off to the right here, all the results that are here on the right can be captured in the report all function, creating a PDF, or report all function downloading a CSV file. And those will put them all into one zip file to save you time so you don't have to download multiple files individually.